The wheels on our 62 Ford Galaxy have seen better days. We really like the design. These are made by Vintage Wheel Works and it's called a V45 and it's got a polished rim with a cast looking spoke in the middle. But over time, these things have corroded quite a bit. We installed these wheels back in probably 1999 and since then, what used to be shiny polished aluminum is now oxidized and you can hand polish these until the cows come home and you'll never get them to look like the mirror that they used to. And the spokes have uh, little pits and corrosion marks on them and you can't polish these because this is a rough cast finish. And we don't want to replace the wheel, but we recently learned that Dent Wizard offers a service to restore wheels just like this. So we're going to see how they do it. Dent Wizard. It's a headquarters located here in Bridgeton, uh, Missouri. This is the wheel remanufacturing shop. Um, all the wheels will come in from body shops, uh, repair shops. We get retail, a little bit of everything comes through here. It gets refinished, gets straightened, gets small cracks welded, stuff like that, and uh, gets back on the road again. The majority of the work that the Dent Wizard Wheel Repair Center does is fixing late model wheels that were damaged in a crash or otherwise hurt in some way. A lot of wheels are, are manufactured overseas. Sometimes if a dealer doesn't have it on hand, it could be anywhere a week to two weeks to get one. Uh, our shops all off, operate overnight. So once they get your wheel picked up, say on a Monday, they fix it Monday night, you've got it back and you're on the road again Tuesday. Uh, probably the biggest thing though is cost. I would say average cost on most alloy wheels now, just a, a generic wheel is almost $600. Whereas you're looking maybe a third that to get it repaired, a third or less. And you, I mean, you, could, you could repair all four of them almost for what it costs to replace one. But what I found cool is that they also do restorations of older style alloy wheels. For example, on a shelf they had a before and after pair of wheels that are, I think, 1978 Pontiac Trans Am. These are the very popular snowflake wheels. And when these were new, they were a cast aluminum wheel with a painted insert and then a machined lip. And anybody who's tried to restore these wheels knows what a pain it can be because you can grind on them and sand on them and you'll never get that machined finish to look right. And painting the inside is tricky if you gotta mask everything off. Well, the Dent Wizard process brings these things back looking just like new, and they clear coat them so they stay looking great. Another interesting restored wheel on hand was a polished lip, gold-faced, basket weave type pattern that was actually found on the Celine Mustangs from the mid-80s. All these wheels from the 70s and 60s that you would thought were too corroded to use again can be brought back to life and preserved by the guys at Dent Wizard. Uh, we got a set of older wheels. They've been kept pretty good shape, but uh, originally didn't have a clear coat finish on them. So obviously exposed to the elements, and it is aluminum. Uh, it's a little soft, a little porous of a, of a metal. So they kind of faded, oxidized, and uh, tarnished a little bit. Uh, most importantly, the wheel has to be round. First thing we do is check them for roundness. We'll prep them, get them washed off a little bit. It gives us a better chance to look at the colors. We pick out a few different paint codes or make, we might have to custom make a color. We've got some basic colors that we've made some, some spray out cards for people can take a look at. Um, but we're able to tint and make anything. If there's a, a specific paint code you've got, that's perfect, that's, that's the easiest. I mean, if, it, if you came in with a couch cushion and say, I want to match this as close as I can, I mean, usually we can come, come really, really darn close to matching just about anything you've got. And obviously, a lot of, a lot of factory wheels are silver, so we've got this, all the silvers on hand. Um, from there on, they basically go into the, the prep process, sanded out a few little nicks, and then went straight to sandblasting and got all the old finish and tarnation and stuff off there and got them cleaned up and ready to paint again. Uh, once it's prepped and it's it's uh, all ready and cleaned up for paint, we went in and we, we sprayed a light base coat on it. We wanted to keep it just kind of a natural aluminum-y color, maybe a little bit on the darker side. Uh, we want to put a little bit of paint in there. A lot of times the, the powder coat can tend to soak in on the clear and kind of makes a little bit of funky color and you're not sure exactly how consistent it'll be. That way we know if we put a good base coat down what we've got. Um, we sprayed the, the face of the spokes and the back of the spokes uh, with a base coat and then got it ready for machining. The machine has a pressure probe called a digitizer that scans the face of it, 
and that basically gives it a, a picture of what the wheel is um, by its shape, by a, makes a profile of it basically, a side profile, and it will follow that pattern over and over and over again, and each time you can tell it how little, how much, right, left, you can shift it back and forth, um, but it, it goes in increments of a thousandth of an inch. So you can go from one thousandths to, uh, usually the max per cut's about nine thousandths, and you can repeat your cuts as you need to, and you can you know, do a final cut and put a different bit on there, and really gives it a nice shine. When our vintage wheel works V45s came out of the CNC machine, they looked phenomenal. The, uh, the rim was very highly polished. Of course, the spokes had the perfect tone of gray. And the guys there actually suggested that we leave them that way uh, because putting a powder coat on them will actually dull the brightness of that machine finish just a little bit. But I'm really sick of polishing these things because they seem to tarnish right away. So I was all for applying a coat of clear powder coat on these to protect them and to keep them looking this shiny for years to come. Oh, uh, well, we got them all cleaned up. We give them a final wash in the sink. Um, it's got a little light detergent in there, a little wax and grease remover too to get, I try to try to wear gloves, keep my greasy fingerprints off of it, um, and blow dry them and, and tack rag them and they're ready to go in to, to be cleared. We have the oven 25 feet long of a burning chamber, and you've got a little bit of intro period, a little bit of exit period. It's about 35, 40 feet long in total. It's a conveyor belt style oven. Um, automatically feeds them through there. You just put them in, let them go. We try to get all the air out that we can from basically preheating them. It gives a little chance to outgas all the air out, and then we're ready to put a powder coat clear over them and then run them back through for a final big cycle. Um, got one side specifically for acrylics for clears. Um, they're what manufacturers all use. Polyesters, uh, kind of the older clears. A lot of the older cars were using them and stuff like that. And they just, that's when you saw a lot of discoloring, a lot of yellowing and stuff like that. Acrylic's been proven. Uh, more and more auto manufacturers are even putting them on the final finish of a car on the hood. It'll have an acrylic, acrylic base clear. It just, it's just, it's a lot more durable. It has UV protection built into it. A lot of, uh, a lot of some of the other older powders didn't. And that gives it a lot of a, a lot of long life. We'll go back in the oven again for another bake cycle. Depending on the wheel and the size, anywhere, anywhere, usually about, about 20 to 30 minutes for a final bake cycle. And that gives a good chance to bake all the powder all the way on. Um, and the advantage of powder coat is once it comes out and we've got a cool down area with some fans and cool it off, takes maybe 10 minutes or so and that, that finish is as hard as it'll ever be. It doesn't need any more cure time, no more dry time. You can slap a tire on it, put it back on the car and you can be driving in as little as 20 minutes after it comes out of the oven. The type of tire you choose can really add or detract from the overall look of the car. Uh, tires are very neat. I have, I have not seen any of these yet. In the past, we had called upon Diamondback Classics because they make custom tires. Uh, a couple years ago, we had a set of late model C5 level performance tires redlined for the reloaded 1968 Camaro. And those tires came out awesome. They look perfect. It's a high performance Toyo Proxis tire that Diamondback used their process on. And the process uh, involves vulcanizing a new skin on it that has the red line or a white line or whatever you want uh, molded into it. So when the tire's finished, it's not something that is going to peel off and it's not painted on. And thumbing through their catalog, I found that there was an optional tire for 1965 and 1966 Thunderbirds that had a combination of a three-quarter inch white stripe and a quarter inch red line. And it really looked like something that would go well on our Galaxy. They're a little bit in the middle, more period correct. White wall with a red stripe. The car's a little too old to ha have a red stripe, and it's a little too new to have a white wall, so they're actually, they're, they're very neat. I've never seen anything like them. These are all popular sized name brand tires, so they're not getting just cheap garbage and putting their stripes on them. And they're all radial tires, so they handle like new car stuff. Uh, and then they go through and apply the red line, the white line. They'll actually do a gold line or a blue, you know, basically whatever you want. So when we finally got the wheels bolted back on the car and took it out in the sun, I was ecstatic. The wheel design is accentuated by the gray spoke and the polished wheel. They look like they're brand new. They're coated, so they're gonna last that way for a long, long time. And people immediately were stopping me saying, hey, tell me about the tires, where'd you get the wheels? 
So that means it's a mission accomplished. And you can learn more about the Dent Wizard wheel restoration process on their website at dentwizard.com. And you can check the Diamondback Classic website for a custom set of red or gold or blue or white wall tires for your ride at dbtires.com.